Advantage.com, and I got an awesome little segment with the man, John. What's up? How you doing? We are here at the Real Living Expo, and uh, we're a pretty cool scene here. A lot of people have been connecting with and enjoying. And John, I've known for a long time. You've probably caught him. If you haven't seen his interview, I got an awesome interview right here. Definitely subscribe to his YouTube channel. But I got this awesome uh, thing of fresh fruit here. Got the farmer's market here. What do you think, John? Looking good, man. Yeah. Definitely always encourage people to shop their local farmer's markets if you're not growing it yourself. Yeah. You're, you're out and you're giving some people food around here, hey? Yeah, dude, I'm giving people food today to like turn them on to eating, you know, real food, not like stuff in packages like, you know, below, like a lot of processed and packaged raw foods, which, you know, I think have their place and can be good if you're in that space. But I want to teach people the best of what I know. And the best of what I know is fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. And what I'm turning people on today is actually the jujube. So I have uh, Ooh, some jujube. awesome jujubes that are like perfectly dried. So you can eat them fresh or you can eat them dried. And these are mildly dried, not like they didn't take out all the water content. They took out just a little bit. So it has that like nice, like nougat, three musketeers like uh, consistency. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, like, well, only one person ha has ever had it before, Christina. <laughs> but nobody else has had it before, and they're like blown away on how like the flavor well, I've had so. Those suckers, man. I well, I know you have. Yeah. I know you have. Yeah. But like the people here. Here, yeah, no. I like gotcha. most people do not get, and especially this quality, like so good jujube. And it's just a fruit that's been, you know, sun dried just a little bit, but still has a, a really good moisture content in it. You know, and it's so delicious, and people are loving it. So. Actually, check out my channel at some point. I'll upload the video of everybody's reaction to the jujube that they're they're eating. It's just amazing to see, you know, that they it's just the love it. It's the best, yeah. man. Seeing people just light up when they see whole fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables. And I walked in and people were like, "Where'd you get that?" Farmers market is two blocks away. No one knows about it. Yeah, <laughs> spreading it out is good. I mean. Like you said, everything has its time and place. You know, it's been amazing being here and meeting and greeting everyone. You know, and and bumping heads, uh, and everyone's on their own process. You know, I guess that's the part of some processed food to become part of someone's process. And I find all this kind of super simple sweetness, right? But uh, it's been awesome out here, man. What what has been the thing you've enjoyed the most out here at the Expo? Well, Chris, you know, I really just like hanging out and meeting other people that are into a raw food style. I mean, as you guys know, I mean, you guys might do it, but all your friends doesn't aren't into this kind of lifestyle. So it's just cool to, even if they're not doing exactly the same as me, even Chris doesn't do the exact same yeah. as I do. We do a lot of things similar, you know, fruits and vegetables all for the win. And hopefully yeah. everybody here is teaching, you know, fruits and vegetables are the ultimate. And then, you know, a lot of people tend to get sidetracked with products, but yeah. the community you know, and hanging out with people. I mean, there's like nearly five, six hundred people here, I estimated. Pretty awesome. You know, which is just a lot of people. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, stoked as always, man, to have uh, have you on here at the Raw Advantage. You gonna be coming to the Woodstock Fruit Festival next year? Yeah, dude, I'm going for two full weeks. I wanna see each and every one of you guys there. I mean, while I do like this event, the Woodstock Fruit Festival is a whole different kind of event, and I think a much, you know, in my opinion, better event because it's it really fosters community. This is a short three-day event, and yeah, you come here, hang out, and see people, but at Woodstock, I mean, we all eat meals together, we go up to a talent show together, we do a magic show together. I mean, it's just it's so pretty cool amazing. to like hang out and, you know, you're being like, live in a little bubble. It's like a, like our own little raw food city for a week, man. We just get to hang we'll out. To forever. Everybody's just cool. Yeah, man. So, I mean, if you could come for two weeks and you're debating coming for one or two weeks, come for two weeks. I, I, I guarantee that, you know, after one week, you're just going to want to go on. And after the second week, you're going to wish you weren't going home. I love it, man. Definitely, definitely come out. Been an awesome blast here, too. Hopefully, see you here next year. Where can we find you, John? You can uh, check me out at okraw.com. It's where I share my raw foods teachings, or more importantly than my raw foods teachings is my garden teachings. Because if you're raw or not raw or wherever you're at in your journey, I believe everybody needs to grow their own food and eat a higher quality food than money can buy. So you can have the ultimate and optimal level of health. Yeah, real health grows, all right? Yeah, growing your greens. Yeah. Love it, thanks John. All right man, first thanks. Bye man. John Kohler. Growing your greens. Ooh, check out these two super popular videos and get your free free ebooks by simply clicking below.
Excited to announce my new iPhone app, free with 101 freaking Ross awesome recipes, interior retreat treats, food combining charts, shopping carts, and more.